What's up, guys? Aaron from Catch Us Outside in our inaugural inaugural video. We're not going to use words like that on this channel. Um, so we wanted to do a quick intro and walkthrough of what we've decided as being our overlanding vehicle. Um, kind of found one that is not kind of we actually did find one because it's sitting right there that we i'm going to back up a little because i'm all um that we really like that kind of fit everything that we were trying to accomplish and not having to add parts to this thing afterward now there's some stuff that we do have to do and are still thinking through but we want to take you on that journey starting now a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara Edition. This um, we found, we looked at four or five. We were looking for something that was already lifted, already had tires, already had the big stuff ready to go. Um, we weren't wanting to do that part of it. And so we, it is hard to find something that is both lifted and well taken care of at the same time or maintenance to well, because usually if you lift it, you want to play with it. And so we were able to find this one after, I don't know, maybe three weeks. It was kind of uh, a very quick process because we didn't want to lose it. But we found when we got there, we had to drive three hours to find this thing. And what we had found is that the dealership had basically decided that they had to redo almost everything. So you've got uh, the rough country in three, four and a half inch lift, uh, new fuel uh, rims, uh, Neo tires, 35s, um, brand new, uh, spare, matching spare, everything was there. Uh, rock slides, uh, you had the, uh, the um, bumper up front. Uh, hook road bumper. It did have a winch um, and this was stuff that some of it we knew, some of it we learned. Uh, this particular bumper is great for a winch. Uh, the winch that was on it um, was not attached very well. It was a Rough Country XC winch, uh, 10,000 pound winch. Uh, it was still working, but we found that the plate was not attached the way it should have been and actually neither was the bumper and so we had to take all of this off uh lights needed to be rewired long story short um had to find a a winch that was affordable and yet could do everything that we wanted and needed it to do this seems to be a good uh alternative for what we were looking for i went with synthetic rope uh, because we're going to be wheeling with the family and just want anything and everything that we do uh, to be safe, uh, as safe as we can make it uh, without, you know, obviously not knowing all the, um, anything that can happen, obviously. So, um, new winch went on the front. Uh, this was a must from the, I think I ordered it, ordered these when I got home from the three hour drive uh, because this hood was going like crazy so um so we replaced these uh the hood's not moving at all now i think this is the uh the jl version of the uh, latches now which um it fit almost perfectly uh like i said four and a half inch uh rough country lift um everything about it from front to rear was brand new um and i'm not um that's not my expertise um so i'm not going to go into that i've looked into it as far as what that package was and um it seemed pretty decent for what we were trying to do and and keep that in mind we're not going to go um we're not looking to uh hit moab with this thing this is going to be our family uh, overlanding yes we're going to hit trails but we're not looking to get this thing to see how far we can get it sideways or up a hill kind of thing this is uh going to be a, a safer family adventure 
and down the road we'll get into things like that so um also our the smallest member of uh catch us outside this is our very handy helper he's going to be helping us with all of our videos right uh, this is Landon, affectionately known as Teddy, and sometimes Batman. All right, so uh, Sahara, you know, it's it's pretty well decked out, uh, even for the year that it is. I was surprised even uh, because we have a 2015 Durango sitting right here next to us. Uh, this is the limited version, you know, touchscreen, um, all that kind of stuff. It, it has all of that. Uh, so that was surprising. It's got the touchscreen as well. It is the older version uh, Uconnect. Um, so from one version to the other, oh, we're going to talk about that in just a sec, okay? Um, from one version to the other, there's not a whole lot of difference that either of us have noticed. It's uh, enjoyable. I can, you know, Bluetooth, phone, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this had the heated seats in it. Um, the other thing that we uh, noticed right off the get-go, and my daughter uh, lovingly surprised me, was uh, this has uh, a train horn system in it. Um, it also has switches down here for lighting, one right here as well. Um, so we've got a light bar up top. we got lights on the front bumper, um, some that work with the fog lights. We've got um, rock lights, two for each wheel. And then we've got bars as well. And then the halos all change color off of an app. Now we haven't been able to connect to the, the controller for the rock lights or the wheel lights uh, because there's lights in the wheels as well. Uh, but we are able to control the halos at this point. So we're still figuring out some of those things. Uh, we figured out that there's a train horn while I was underneath it and my daughter decided to push the button and, and honk at us. So that was a, not at the time a pleasant surprise, but we do kind of love the train horn, right? We yeah. get people all the time with it. We kind of like it. Um, we did add a, oh, I forget the name of it. Jamic. Uh, up top here, you can see that. We've got a hard top. There's freedom panels right above that. Um, we, we've tried out the Jamic a few times, uh, mostly the kids. I, I went up there the first time with it. And it wasn't bad, but it's not like comfortable um, for a big guy like me, a smaller lady. Sure, it'll do great. Uh, we also added the um, Vector off-road bar up here in the dash um, with um, uh, 67 designs mounts. Uh, one for the iPad, 10 and a half inch Pro, and then my just a phone mount here. So that was stuff that we added. Um, I think that's it for the front. Let's keep moving. So done. One thing and things that we've been ordering, um, we haven't really wheeled at all yet. And mostly because we watch guys like uh, Trail Recon and Overland X and their, you know, their safety videos and things like that are amazing. And so um, we, we kind of decided that we wanted to find some things uh, before we started uh, doing that kind of stuff. So, uh, element has a great fire extinguisher that we, uh, carry with us. We have our, um, we have our first aid kit, uh, in the back here. That's got a tourniquet and anything and everything else that we could possibly need. Uh, if somebody should get injured on the trail or just in general, we got the seatbelt cutter up in the, uh, um, visor up there. Thanks, Teddy. Yep. Yeah. You coming out? Yeah. All right. And then on the back, we have a Opar. I think I think they're getting that. Are you getting the sun there? I think, I think that's supposed to be a knockoff of Mopar, but I don't know. Um, it was there. Don't don't hate me. I don't want any hate mail for that. Huh. Uh, because we, we try to buy quality equipment when we can. Um, and where we can save money, we're gonna we're gonna buy something cheaper and save some money, as you'll see when we open this deal. So we look. Whoa! Watch a big guy. Go ahead, let it go. All right. So what we decided was that we did want a tailgate table. We also decided that we couldn't spend the money uh, for the um, for the ones that most people have, and so we found this. Go ahead. So we found this as a good alternative. It was $200 cheaper than most. This is about 200 bucks. 
um, and it's done well for us. We've got the bamboo slide out table as well. And so that uh, was something that we had just um, very recently added. Just leave it, babe. Um, here's the compressor and tank for the air horn. Um, we went ahead and, and actually was sitting sideways this way, but we can't get our fridge in there, uh, which we'll do another video on. Um, but we couldn't get our fridge in there with it sitting like that, along with our boxes for our, this is all of our recovery gear. We've got another one inside for pantry, and then we've got a small one inside for you know cooking gear and all that kind of stuff so well our pack out system is three it barely fits under there but we've got the extra large we've got a large and then we've got a medium um, that fits in there well and then the refrigerator fits right here uh, we turned that sideways so that fridge could fit there but also because we already had a compressor in the jeep i went ahead and added this uh and we don't want to hit that because it's pressurized right now but uh we added the um the ability to put a hose line to it so we could um, air back up when we're done uh, working on the trail. All right, so that's a quick walkthrough, or maybe not a quick walkthrough, of uh, Fox in our 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. This is our second youngest member of Catch Us Outside. This is Easy B, and she will be in plenty of our videos as well. All right, guys, so that'll do it for us. Thank you so much uh, for checking it out. Be sure to check out uh, all of our videos. And if you would, please do us a great service and subscribe. We will be adding content regularly and often. Hope to see you here, there, or on the trail. Have a good one.